Hey, I'm Cher, and welcome to readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome, new subscribers. So nice to have you join us. Aries. We're going to the Gilded Tarot by Cyril Marchetti. Aries. Most of my readings are mostly love readings because that's mostly the energy that comes in is love. But sometimes they will surprise you. So let's see what spirit has for us. Aries. Let's go. Let's get her on and let's get her done. Aries. Let's go. Well, you've made a decision, and it looks like this decision's real good. First thing, it was a hard decision to make, and it was probably about love or life's circumstances, the way you were living, hoping for a, a better way of living. But what I see with this decision was the Nine of Cups, the Wish Fulfillment, and the Empress, bringing out the Empress, ideas impregnated with ideas, bringing them out into the world to get your Nine of Cups, to get your wish. You know, it would be nice if wishes were just fulfilled out of the blue, if they just came to you. But we always have to seem to put in some kind of effort in order for wishes to be fulfilled. And I do see making the decision to make that effort with the Empress. Having ideas. What can I do to bring forth my blessings? What can I do? Obviously, the past didn't really fulfill me. So what can I do to make my life better? To bring blessings into my life? Well, the first thing I can do is realize that I'm standing at the crossroads of life. The first thing I can do is realize that sometimes taking the same old path over and over again just, just doesn't make it. It just doesn't do it. So. The first thing I'm thinking about is, well, maybe I have to put my foot on a new path. And that could be anything. That could be going it alone. That could be turning your back on friends, family, co-workers. It could be anything here. But usually when you step foot on a new path, it's usually a painful first step. It is uncertain and it's painful. I've made a judgment call against somebody who came into my life. I made a judgment call against somebody who came and this person, this person did things to my life. They, they might have even caused me to have addictions. I might have been as good as gold and then they came in and maybe I started drinking or maybe I started acting irresponsible, silly. Maybe I've already left friends and family behind because of somebody who came into my life. Maybe I started smoking weed, which I hadn't done in years. Maybe I was influenced by somebody. I'm using my intuition and I'm going with this. We're not, not just the sun shines, but where the stars are bright. So what do I have? I got myself jumping in to the chariot. I'm using my intuition here with the high priestess coming in. Cancer Pisces here. You know, I'm going where my intuition is taking me. Where am I going? I'm going to where there's great possibilities. Miracles even. 
I'm going to where the stars are shining. Maybe I want to be a star. Six of Pentacles, the ability to give. It's usually equal give and take, but if you really look at the Six of Pentacles with the hands reaching up to you, helping others, I'm going where I'm going to have the possibility to shine like a star, to find my blessings and to bring the ideas that I'm impregnated with, to bring them out into the world, to manifest a whole brand new thing. But there's something here, Aries, and I feel that maybe you've gone on this path before where you've said to yourself, I'm going, I'm going to do it this time. I'm, I'm stepping foot on that first, that first step on a whole brand new path, a whole new being. A whole new world, a whole new life. But if there's something that you don't see and there's some passion coming towards you. Now when the devil is involved here, it's a very, very strong energy. That energy, well, addictions are hard to kick. And that could be even addictions of love and addictions of passion. But there's something that you're not seeing with another Pisces card coming out here. With the moon, there's something that's shrouded. Another Pisces card coming out here. <laughs> well, this is freaking insane, but you know what, Aries, I got you. I got you on the run. But is this love from the past? Or is this some sort of a divine healing that you're receiving? Feeling these great emotions that, man, I gotta pack up my six swords. I gotta move on out. But get on, little doggy. It's time for me to get the hell out of Dutch. Even the divine is giving me these inspirations. Even the divine with the Nine of Cups, the Empress, the Star, the Chariot, I'm on my way, and, and the High Priestess, High Priest. The Divine is involved here. I've been praying. I've been praying for this. I've been praying for release. I've been praying for a whole brand new gig. My emotions are running high. I'm ready to do this. But I gotta get the hell out of Dodge. I gotta get in my chariot. And, and I just gotta blow this this popsicle stand. I gotta get the hell out of here. I gotta go to where the water is more tranquil, more controlled. I fight myself. Oh my god, do I fight myself? Man, oh man, oh man. One hell of a spiritual warfare going on here. Mm. Spirit fighting with the flesh. Spirit fighting with the flesh. Man, I really want to take a leap. I got this. What I'm not seeing is maybe somebody passionate coming back again. Who? The devil, the devil coming back again. But I got this divine feeling that, you know, like, move on, Aries, keep on freaking going. Keep on keeping on. Get her on and freaking get her done. I fight with it. I fight myself so much here. This spirit, this divine, fighting against the wills and the want of the flesh. Healing. Four swords, three on the wall and one on the floor. I got that one on the floor so I can reach down there and I can pick that up. 
if I need be, to jump into triumph, into battle. There's a whole brand new ship coming in, Aries. You know what? It's got your name on it. It's got Aries written on the side of it. Whole brand new ship. Not just a ship. What I'm seeing here is probably a yacht. You got a whole brand new friggin' yacht coming in here, and I see, I see you waiting for it. I see you know it's coming. Communication comes. You're going to need strength. Here it is. Here is this fighting with the will. The will fighting against the flesh. Someone comes a knocking. Or a text message or a phone call. Or all the many, many ways that we can communicate today. I gotta have strength. I gotta have strength. Because I know, I know what I want. But the flesh. The spirit and the heart are a whole different, a whole different thing. Have strength because this is a sneak. This is a sneak that brings with them what? The Nine of Swords nightmare card. There's a sneaky nightmare trying to come back in and talk to me again with the devil card. The Seven of Swords. The nightmare card, the sneaky nightmare. I want you to come out and talk. You got options, Aries, and you know you got options. You feel them. You're trying to fight against the flesh. Listen to the divine that tells you. You got options. Holy shit. Seven friggin' cups full. Now you might not have that many, but you got options. And you got the divine backing you up. And again, great warning here of someone returning. Come with apology. I'm sorry. Offering you the big ace of cups. Offering you this overflowing cup of love and everything else. I want you to look at it. I want you to look at it. Pisces card coming in here with the hanging man. I want you to look at it in all different ways. Really take a good look. Why? This nightmare. Really take a good look. And then take a good look at yourself and what spirit has been telling you. Somebody wants reunion, somebody wants to come back. But here comes the bass turtle. Smooth talker and a sexy walker. Somebody you may be speaking to online right now. Telling you, well, you know what? If we get back together again, things are going to be a lot better. <clears throat> Player. Player. Look at the passion surrounding this person. Damn. This person that just walks and talks sex. Walks it, talks it, speaks it, thinks it, lives it. All over a nice person. All over a very nice person indeed. Very sweet, very kind. Smooth talker, sexy walker. But sex, sex, stay in your garden, Pisces, stay in your garden. You know, the truth is that you will be recognized for whatever it is that you are manifesting. Whatever you are manifesting, the great wizard coming out here, truth is you will be recognized for your dreams, for what you want to do here. Keep walking, Aries. You don't deserve what the past is, what the cards have dealt for you in the past. You deserve 
what the cards are dealing for you today. Keep going, Pisces. Pisces. Keep going, Aries. A big Pisces here. Pisces, don't kill me, all right? Remember, these readings are general. It doesn't have to be you. <laughs> but I definitely got cross watchers watching here. I've got Gemini. I have Taurus. Leo. Pisces, huge. Pisces is huge. My God Almighty. Aries, another Aries. Virgo. Pisces. Aquarius is here. Pisces. <laughs> Cancer. Aries again. Uh, Taurus. And Capricorn. Aries. Awesome freaking reading. Keep going. Thanks for joining me today. Namaste.